I have to believe it If you say it's wrong then I'll say no If you say release I'm letting go If you're in it with me I'll begin And when you So welcome to my world this morning. I just want to show you, that's what my Sadie Grace made me of, my patches that passed away, my beautiful vegetation that I've got here in the back, my sunflower face, my happy face that my Blakey made me. And a beautiful, wonderful good morning to all our beautiful brothers and sisters out there. Today is the 20th of April. Oh, can't believe it. So far in the year already. And I just want to do something like, kind of like, different. Kind of like, hmm, beautiful. Kind of like want to share my world with you. And my world is thus, God's Word. And it's beautiful in every way. And this morning my reading, I've got two scriptures. One is from the book of Job, chapter 12, verses 7 to 10. And it says this, But now ask the beasts, and they shall teach you. And the birds of the air, and they will tell you. Or speak to the earth, and it will teach you. And the fish of the sea, will explain to you who among all these does not know that the hand of the Lord has done this and he in whose hand is the life of every living thing and the breath of all mankind hmm makes you think doesn't it how many times does God's Word utilize and use animals creatures great and small to teach us men so many lessons i want us to read from ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verses 11 and it says he has made everything beautiful in its time also he has put eternity in their hearts except that no one can find out the work that god does from the beginning to the end what a joy unspeakable knowing that Jesus has got everything, everything in the palm of his hand. And with his very hands, he created everything. He even said, hmm, the psalmist, what is it that you're so mindful of man? You know, this morning I'm going to show you uh, a little, oh, I'm going to take you on a little journey in my own home and give you the importance of what beauty really means and I'm going to end my scripture with this And even in lockdown, <laughs> bear with me wherever I go. The love of the Lord Jesus and my little world of love.
And your naughty brother, did you? So you've been in my world for a moment, yet it can be forever. God's word says this in Philippians 4 verses 8. Finally, my brethren and my sisters, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, Whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of a good report, if there's any virtue and if there's anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. What a joy this morning to go through the smaller things in life and just realize they're the greater picture. Jesus said, I've come to give you life. I've yet come to give it to you in abundance in John 10 10 and let us meditate on the beauty of the Lord Jesus Christ of his creation and you know when we do things like that then there's no place for distraction no place for worry and no place for doubt and so you have a beautiful day today I say a beauty mouse Jesus licious day why because Jesus loves you and so do I I have to believe it If you say it's wrong then I'll say